So what up, though? It's Dewan Dandridge, CEO of Black Leaders Detroit, and we are back with another episode of Speak for Yourself. We are shooting live on location at Tauntis Beauty Cosmetic Bar. Um, and, of course, we have the owner here, none other than Nadanya Muslim. Hello, hello. Thank you for joining us today. We are happy to have you, excited to dive into this conversation. One of the things that we love to do is invite our guests to introduce themselves. So how would you like our audience to know you? Wow. Okay. That is a question right there, a <laughs> statement. Um, know me as someone who loves the community, loves my college, Tennessee State University, and loves Greek life. That's what's um, up. That's what's so, up. And who are you representing in Greek life? I am a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, love for community. First of all, where are we at right now? We are on the Avenue of Fashion. Okay. 18979 Livernois. Um, someone just told me last week, they said, that's not the Avenue of Fashion. That's the Black Wall Street. Okay. And I said, where'd you get that from? It's the <laughs> Avenue of Fashion. Been the Avenue of Fashion all my life. Right. But out of state, they are calling this this uh, block of businesses the Black Wall Street. Mm, I understand that. I understand that. But along with that, um, give them the name and the reason for uh, the business that we're sitting in right now. Okay, well, we are at Tantis Cosmetics Beauty Bar, and um, we started out as a lip gloss company. Um, my business was in, um, well, I started out selling out of my purse, okay? Okay, okay. Um, and then I went to Ashley Stores in Southfield and was picked up by Macy, so nice. I was in three locations. Nice, nice. And decided um, I, I was the administrator at East English Village. And yeah. my students' parents were saying, we can't get all the way out to 12 Oaks just to buy yeah. your lip gloss. And, of course, I can't sell it at school. Yeah. So we looked for a well, location. You were selling out your purse at one point. so uh, They will tell you. You weren't supposed to be selling out your purse, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> well, what, did that, what did that look like? How was you approaching people? Were you like... You might, you might be too young to remember Lenny from Good Times. And just yes, roll up on people I, with, look, the, I, I, with the jacket and be like, hey. <laughs> yes, I would whip out my purse, and I'd be like, and I still do. I was doing it at homecoming. They That's were like, what's up. They were like, make sure you got some lip gloss. I had lip gloss in my purse. Like, I got some new colors, y'all. Yeah. We would be at Como's. And I would put all the new colors on the table. Mm, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's that makes me think about uh, a good friend of mine and one of our and a chair of our funding board, uh, Rachel Allen. She runs something called Operation School, and she t teaches says she teaches people how to take their hustle and turn it into a business. But I think the important thing is that even though you've done that, obviously you don't want to lose your hustle. You know what I mean? Exactly. You got to keep that hustle about you. Right. Exactly. So yeah. people still text me all the time in two, three in the morning. Are you coming to such and such party? Make sure you bring some lip gloss. Mm. And I'm like, you can't come to the store. Right. Girl, put that lip gloss in your purse and come <laughs> on. And I, that's what I do. <laughs> that's what's up, right? You have to do what, you, do what it takes to make it happen. Yeah. Um, we do something every year uh, for the last, this is year three, right? Yeah. That we call like Black Friday, right, um, where we adopt uh, several businesses on the Avenue of Fashion and we buy uh, gift cards and pass them out to uh, sh people that are going to shop and spend money on Black Friday anyway. So what is that? what was that experience like for you as you were one of the businesses that participated uh, last year? I was truly blessed. When Ms. Ayers called me and told me, that on Black Friday, each customer that came through the store, I believe was between 11 and 6, would get a $50 gift card. I was like, well, what do they have to do? And she was like, 
they're going to get a $50 gift card to use in your store to buy whatever they want. And I was like, well, what do you mean? I was just kind of dumbfounded because it just sounds too good to be true. Mm -hmm. And how was I selected? And I had a million, I had a million questions. And Mm -hmm. when I hung up from uh, talking to her, I just was crying. Like how did God bless me with opportunity like this? Yeah. And she told me, just make sure you publicize it so that people come. And I put it all over Facebook, and I made flyers. And it was jumping in here that day. Never, I have never had that many customers in a whole year. Wow. How about I never had that many customers in two years, except for when we were at, of course, we were at Macy's. So you had more customers in that one day. In that one day that, that you we had, for, had two years. for two years in this location. Wow. Yes. Wow, that's huge. So, I mean, a part of the reason we do that, right, is because we understand that people are going to go and shop on Black Friday. That's become a part of the Thanksgiving tradition at this point, right? Yes. So they're going to go and shop and stand in long lines. So a lot of that money does not make its way to the black business owners. But we want to make sure that you know, we were able to drum and bring some business this way. Obviously, you aren't going to be, be able to compete with the big box stores when it comes to marketing. Um, and we're not, we're not either as an organization, but we are able to spread the message. But we appreciate entrepreneurs like you that actually did what was asked and just market it and let your people know that they can come and they're going, we're going to give them the first $50. And I'm sure that people spent uh, more than that um, but we saw uh, a lot of, you know, the Divine Nine represented in that line to come and get those gift gift cards. Yes. And the crazy thing is, when I say that we were blessed by you all, we literally always close on Black Fridays because, just as you said, we know we cannot compete with the sales that they have going on at Macy's or JCPenney's we know we couldn't compete with them, so we didn't even bother to open. Yeah. And when she said that, I was like, this is crazy. Mm. And then the people just, I mean, well over 100 people came, nice. and nice. each person said they didn't run out of gift cards. Like, they still have them. Go down the street. They nice. were amazed, and they wanted to know who is this organization that, you know, was giving back to the community like that. Yeah. A lot of times from like, you know, the no interest loan that we do, the grants that we do, oftentimes people think it's a hoax when they first hear about it. Um, I had a a gentleman that um, owns a skincare um, line and he was saying that when he first heard about Black Leeds Detroit, especially the no interest loan, he was like, it's a hoax. He said, I didn't even bother applying because there's no way somebody came up with this for us. Right, like that just doesn't happen. So we're so used to people creating these initiatives that exclude us that when yeah. there's one created for us, then it's, it's sometimes it's hard to believe. And we get it, right? Like we aren't a very trusting people, rightfully so. There's been a lot of things done yes. that would cause us to not trust. And that's why you'll never hear us ask people to trust us, right? We try to earn it through doing what we did for Black Friday and the other initiatives that we do through our grants and no interest loans. So uh, we are excited to be coming back again in 2023. (laughs) Yes. And I, and I am so excited. I constantly tell people all the time, the only thing that they ask back from the community is to pay $4 a month. And they use those funds to sponsor other black businesses. I think my mama signed up. My grandma, I was telling all my friends, like, they're going to help somebody else. And we've even um, talked about it on HBCU Network. Like, make sure you donate to this organization because, I mean, it's it's just unbelievable how you change lives because our life was changed, yeah. you know. Yeah, ultimately that's what it's about. It's, it is, I always say, it's that thing that we've talked about at the dinner table, at the beauty su- supply, at the barbershop, when we would say, if we could just come together, 
we would be all right, right? And that's yes. what we've created, a mechanism where we can come together for $1 a week. That's what we ask people to do. Donate a dollar a week. We know that, you know, most of us that are philanthropic in our own way, most of us, like as you said, giving back to the community, so many of us do that already. We know that that's true. In spite of, like, what the narrative tries to paint or the picture yes. that uh, the public tries to paint, right? We know that we get we are givers. Um, the data shows that. But what we hope is that people will see that this is not going to compete with the area that you're already giving or you're already serving if you have another dollar a week to spare, right? And we're going to take that dollar and do exactly what, what you just described. Uh, we've been able to distribute over $2 million to black entrepreneurs since we started the organization, and we are just scratching the surface. So um, it is good for us to be able to come and share stories like yours. Um, is there anything else that you want to share um, that we haven't touched on? I just want to say to everybody who's watching or listening that to them right there, listen, a dollar a week, a dollar a week. We spend more than that on pop. Okay. Cause I'm a pop drinker. We spend more than that on pop. So, to be able to know that you donated a dollar a week and it helped another black business stay open. It helped another black business advertise. It helped another black business be able to donate to somebody else in the community. Um, because our store has a, we do a pantry on Tuesdays. We give away stuff, but it takes gas and stuff to go get the food from gleaners to even give out. And, Black Leaders Detroit, you made that possible for us. So get them your dollar. <laughs> <laughs> that simple. Flat out. <laughs> flat, flat out. out. He helped us. No, we appreciate it. Tell them uh, one more time your name, where we are, and when they can come and shop. Okay. So I am Nadanya Muslim. We are at Tantis Cosmetics Beauty Bar. 18979 Livernois, Detroit. Um, our hours are Monday through Wednesday, 4 to 7, because I know y'all at work. Um, Thursday, we open from 12 to 7. Friday, 12 to 6. And Saturday, 11 to 6. And we have more than Greek wear. We have Raviani purses. Of course, we have Tantas lip gloss. What up, those shirts? Because we got to represent the city. And we have 13 organizations. So we try to represent everybody. If you have an org that needs to be represented, let us know. And we put you on the map, too. Like Detroit Black Leaders put us on the map. Perfect. That was great. That was great. All right. Um, I'll close it. So you all have heard it uh, right here. Uh, this is what it looks like to give back to your community. Um, this is what it looks like to support people that are already out here, not only providing amazing services, great products, but also they are givers as well. So don't forget, sign up and donate that dollar a week and definitely come and check us out on the Avenue of Fashion this uh, Black Friday. We're gonna give you the first $50 that you can come and spend here or one of a number of stores. Peace. Peace.